Today on Mr. Stobie's Math Tutorials, we are going to be learning how to find out the equation of a line. <laughs> equation of a line, but this time, what's different is the fact that these points are not on the y axis. So it's a little bit trickier. But again, we start off with the same idea, step one. And step one is? The gradient. The gradient, exactly. <laughs> And it's always the same formula for the gradient. Again, we label them x1, y1, x2, y2. So we're going to have 0, take away minus 3. And then we're going to have 5, and we're going to take away a minus 4. Two negatives make a positive. So you're going to end up with minus 3, and that's going to be 5 plus 4 is 9. Oh, question, yes. <laughs> Zoe. How do you simplify that number? Ah, how do we simplify that? Okay, well, what number can go into 3 and into 9? 3. 3, exactly. So, so we can simplify third. it to minus 1 third. So we've now... We'll have no Irish jokes <laughs> while I'm doing tutorials. Thank you. Next thing, step 2. We cannot work out the y-intercept easily because we do not have where it touches the y-axis, but we can work it out like this. The equation of a line is y equals mx plus c. We know what the gradient is. The gradient is minus a third, but we don't know what c is. Now, to work out what C is, we have got to pick any coordinate that is on the line and put it into this equation. So we could use this coordinate or this coordinate. Yes. Yes, Holly. No, I'm not going to use your surname. Um, <laughs> Why do you want to do that? Like coordinate? Ah, because we want to work out what the value of C is going to be. And if we, if we pick up any coordinate, then we can replace the X with one of the values and the y with the other value, and that means we'll be able to work out what c is going to be. Because x and y will, have been, will be numbers now, and the only one that's not a number is c. So let's try it. So we're going to step three. We're going to pick any value, and the one I'm going to pick is the easiest one. It's definitely 5, 0. So I'm going to write down that x is going to equal 5, and y is going to equal 0. So replace y with 0, and replacing this x now with 5, so that there is one, minus 1 third times 5, and then I'm going to add on the c. Now because you've been practicing fractions so much, when you multiply a third times 5, what would you get? Not 15, no. One and two thirds. A third of five, yeah. What's a third of five? One and two thirds. It is actually, yeah. You basically do the top numbers of one times five, which is going to give you five holes. And then on the bottom there, <laughs> it's going to be three times one, which is three. So you're going to end up with minus five over three plus C. Now, how can you solve that equation? Swap sides, swap signs. You want to work out what C is, so you put that on the other side. So that means C is going to equal, or sorry, I should have written it the other way around actually. Bring that on the other side, you get 5 over 3 equals C, which means that C equals 5 over 3. So now we know what the equation of the line is because we know where it touches the y axis, and we also got the gradient. So the last one, step four. And no, it's not minus because you swap signs. Swap signs. So when it goes, well, what's the opposite of a minus? It's a plus. That's why this becomes now plus five thirds. So y equals mx plus c. The gradient is a third, and the y-intercept is plus five over three. 
Which bit? Which bit would you like me to explain a little bit more? Let me show you with something easier, okay? Imagine you had this equation, this, this equation here. 0 equals 3 um, plus c. Well, let, let's make it minus 3. So 0 equals minus 3 plus c. What, what do you have to add on to minus 3 to get 0? 3, okay? So we know that c must equal 3. If we put that on the other side... It becomes the opposite of minus 3 becomes a plus 3. So that means C is going to equal 3. So it doesn't matter what whether it's a fraction. Where did, where, where did that come from? No. I like, no. Where did you get the side of the Well, because I. You just put the C. Yeah, I'll just use an example with an easier number, with 3. But if it's 5 over 3, do exactly the same. You just put the whole fraction onto the other side and you swap the sides, you swap signs. Yes. If if that was if that was a plus there, when you swap the side, swap the sign, it would now become a minus. I'm gonna cut it off there.